Uh, some stretching for, you know, part of it will get the, the glute, part of it will get the hamstring for people. It just, you know, depends what position um, you're in, which stretch you're doing. So if you remember where we had, you know, rotating here, right? So we rotate. And then what you can do is you can add a stretch in. You know, so this stretch will get part of the low back. It'll get part of the glutes for people. Might get a little bit of the hamstrings here, but you can also kind of reposition a little which angle you want to take. But again, when you're doing the rotation, the rotation should give you an idea about what's going to be the best angle to, to mm -hmm. take the stretch into. And see, for Jody, it's going to be right here. And then you can turn slightly either direction as you, as you hold. Okay? Yeah. So that's just putting your body weight down. Now if you want to, for some people, um, if you want to isolate a little bit more on the hamstring group with this particular stretch rotation, what I'll do, see, is I'll take my forearm and then put it on the hamstrings group. And it just gives a little, yeah, you can pull it a lot more. But it gives a little bit more oh, stretch, it changes slightly. Are we there yet? Yeah, okay. yeah that's nice. But what you want to, if you're going to put your forearm underneath, you want to make sure that you're not pushing down too hard on um, the uh, foot here, mm -hmm. because what'll end up happening is you end up pinching mm. the client at the back of the knee. And so, if you bring the light of awareness to your kidneys at the same time, mm -hmm. you'll get a really big stretch. Okay, then next, <laughs> so we're gonna do the hamstring, you know, working on the hamstring. Mm -hmm. So when you do the hamstring, it depends. Like you have a lot of room for play as far as where you want to start the stretch. So say I can start the stretch here. She's not getting any stretch in her hamstring yet. So now I start to extend. There we and go. slowly extend, like so. And I can keep going. So now once I'm starting to feel some tension, I might back up a little bit and then extend more mm. by pushing forward. So it depends on how you want to start the stretch. Sometimes people will start the stretch like this and then see where you can go. Other times you just start with the leg extended and then go right into the stretch. Yeah, I have yoga butt where the hamstring is slightly torn off the... Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. make me wear yeah. that. Both sides. Oof. Yeah, if I'm here. So if there's something going on like that, then you definitely need to be careful, right? Okay. It feels really good, but I have to be careful mm -hmm. with that. Great. Wow. Thanks for making me wear that. So the, the idea is you can start here like this and start to get a stretch and then move, or you can start with the leg fully extended. It a, gives it two different kinds of feel as far as stretching out the yeah, hamstring. And again, this would be something you do more like sports massage. If you start looking at stretches and sports massage and everything, I mean, there's going to be hundreds of different, you know, stretches for the body that you can find. So these are, you know, these are just some of them. They're more along the lines of Twina. Can we just back up for a second yep. it, it, about her, um, her yoga Hamster? butt? Yep. Yeah. Um, so... What what could potentially happen if you stretched her too far? If you like stretch it too far, you could tear the muscle more. If someone had, bone. yeah, you could re-injure something <clears throat> like that. Um, you have the hamstrings group, semimembranosus, tendinosus, and rectus femoris all inserting in the ischial tuberosity. Mm -hmm. So you know if there is an injury there or a past injury, then you always want to be careful with stretching and rotating too. I mean, rotating probably less here. Let's say someone has an injury to the neck, and you're doing stretching, rotating, you definitely want to be careful if they have like an old injury. Someone that has spinal stenosis, I'm gonna, you know, completely skip stretching and rotating on their neck. You know, so it, it just depends on the, you know, what's going on with the client. Gotcha. So Thanks. when we do, like when you do rolling technique or you do grasping technique or any of that, I mean, you can pretty much do it anywhere on anybody and just vary the pressure if they have some sort of injury or old injury. Um, but when you're talking about actually moving joints and stretching muscles, that's a little bit different story. It's going to vary a lot more from person to person about what you can do and what you should do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then last, we have pulling stretching at the foot. So this, she'll feel all the way up into her hip here. And this, I wouldn't need to worry about the, you know, ham, you know hamstring partial tear or the old injury. So here you're going to squat. I'll often brace my arm on the table instead of just leaning back. I like bracing and then pulling like this so I, you know, rock my body forward. I think it works a little, a little easier. So you want to evert the foot. Either is turning out. Mm. This is inversion. Mm -hmm. This is eversion. Mm. Don't pull and stretch with the foot inverted. Make sure it's everted like so, okay? And then usually I'll interlace my hands like this to get a better grasp. Then 
you want to get the foot level, and then you're just going to pull back. And you're still everting it? Yep. Okay. Because that will get into the full fascia line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other way to do? All the way up my jaw. And that would make sense with the stomach. Coming, coming right up in the middle of the mm -hmm. foot. Okay. So Ooh. the other way to do is just lean back. And if you look at my right leg, I have my leg braced up against the table as a yeah. counterpoint. Here. So I'm not like this pulling. You could do that, or you could brace against the table. Whichever you want to do. So that's uh, stretching for the